Hello, Victor. I'm showing you the kind of hacky method I use to convert a uh, SVG that looks like this into a 3D printed thing that looks like this. The process definitely isn't perfect because I actually convert from an SVG to a PNG back to an SVG. Um, and there should really be a better way just to be able to isolate these by color via the SVG because it's just in the file and that way it'd just be much cleaner, kind of easy program. You can see my conversion process here when it comes to making this thing, it's not as perfectly smooth as it could. And there's like a little mess up things. But, um, so you can see I've done one. So I'm going to be doing this one uh, to this kind of figure. And so the primary things I use here are Canvas Workspace by Brother. It's an online tool. And then I just Google PNG to SVG switch to make my conversions. And then I use Tinkercad to make my file. So first thing I'm going to do is choose an SVG to load. Uh, we're going to be using this one, All right? Then this, I can actually pull the different layers out of it. Like that. So this, everything that I have, I'm actually going to make this bigger just because it will, um, There we go. Just trying to make sure that everything is okay. It's on the screen. Alright. Um, there. Up. I just need, I just want some space. But everything's okay. Kind of easy to cut. This isn't going to be the way. Alright, cool. From here. I then use the Windows Cut tool to kind of take a screenshot of this because I've split it into layers. Mm -hmm. Now there should definitely be just an easier way to split an SVG into different colors. But I have this. This is the only way I can do it because apparently I'm a company. So I'm going to save this and I'm just going to save this into my downloads for now um, for my... So now that's saved. So I'm actually done with this part. Next thing is we go to the PNG converter. We choose a file. And I save that to downloads. I'm going to save that one. Choose a file. Right yeah, so that's my file. So it should be here. I don't know why it's in there. There's what, two colors. One. Aren't you loaded? Literally, I've done this multiple times today. Guess I'll use a different one. Let download save. Let's look at it. All right. So I just use a different conversion tool. You can see we have all our parts. Anticipated. So we're just going to make a new design, and we are going to import 
that SVG. We can reduce it down to the right size. It should be important. Wow. All right. So we're here. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. All right. Now here we have because we have all our parts, right? So I'm going to copy paste, duplicate move that over here, and this one's going to be everything except the base. So this thing. You can just kind of tell that this is janky. Oh, I'm actually going to do it. Great. Uh, all that stuff. So you can see that as of right now, I'm having to manually kind of select only what I want to keep. And there's got to be a better way to do this. Oop. I got one of them. Okay. So the next one. Paste. I'm going to keep this one. I just want to keep the nose. So there we go. There we go. Parts together, boom, I have a nose. Spider, not now. All right, so we got this, got a nose. Next, we got to get maybe the main head, right? So, box here. There we go. process 100% could be set up. Oop. Great. So now, whoop. So that is. Okay, and then our final piece. So we get everything. And now I can just duplicate these. And try to see if this works. Stuff not there, but okay. we can fix all that. So, I'm just doing 
ist so nicht ausbreiten. Hm. So now we can see I have all these different layers. And now this is gonna be the bottom layer. Right. Right. This is gonna be see, I have to come up with a way to like kind of realign this stuff, even though the base layer layer should just be right. One side one switched up. Boom. So now you can see I create like a little step. Um, raise up a little bit. Now, technically speaking, this could be enough, right? Because there are Bamboo Studio tools that you can like go in and you can paint. So I could say, hey, I want to paint this one color. I want to paint this one color. I want to paint this one color. And in Bamboo Studio, that would be enough, right? Um, but in theory, what you could want, so I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm talking about here, is you could want one STL that looked like this and another STL that looked like this. And so that they actually interlocked and so there are programs that can treat these as one file if you have multiple STL parts. And it's just multicolor, right? We, we know that people can do that. All right, so I'm just going to kind of move this off to the side. Um, so you can see that I have these parts here. And so then I could take my nose and say, hey, my nose needs to go right there. All right, and it's kind of raised up so we can see it. Same thing for you. So you just kind of go right in there. And they're raised up too. All right, and then pulling up the original picture we had. All right, you can kind of say, okay, cool. This thing needs to be a dark blue. This needs to be black. This is a light blue. This is a dark blue. Actually, so this is closer to the light blue. And this is closer to the yeah. So ta-da. You can see that we have made an SVG here that's now made into like different multiple parts, right? Now well, the question is, right, I can select these and I can export these, select a shape as an STL, right? So that would give me just the um, inner ears, right, and whatnot. Um, and then I guess I can just show you what this would end up looking like, All right? Um, so let's, I'm actually going to remove these. I'm just going to export this. Export STL. And the one thing with Tinkercad is because it has a bunch of different pieces and I'm doing it so piecemeal everything just ends up taking more time. So if you can just SVGs to begin with you can extrude them and print them and, and like it's not super complicated because now this thing I've had to manually cut into a bunch of pieces and so it's having to like prepare and go through all these iterations and so once you just start stacking a whole bunch of stuff it gets problematic. This. So, this is how I kind of make the thing. And so you could imagine that um, right. 
kind of see these things. Now black, it's super easy to kind of generate, right? You can import into Tinkercad and just kind of extrude it and output it. You might have an interest in having yours be able to just do the black as a base case, right? But if you have something like this, right? Happy fall, you would need all of these things to be different colors. And so if you could just sort it so that you could have orange, brown, the truck, the white, the tires, right? So this is taking a while to export. So I was going to show you in um, Bamboo Studio, but I think this will be good for now.